Hello, hello, hello! How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. And drummer dude, no, the stream did not end. Hopefully it's okay on Twitch, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. I think it should be okay on my end. So, we got Mad Jack and apparently... Mamudab? I don't know. Uh, Steve, Drew, Zach... Drummer dude? Bomb? Marson? What is going on? And in game we go. What's up? Give it ten hours to sort itself out. Hey, drum. How's my David? Pretty good so far. Still early. A silver combine, hmm, hello then. <laughs> that thing, download it, have a look at it. I'm gonna do a mod review on it at some point, it won't be today as I've got some crap to do for the house to start off as soon as I'm done streaming. That's why I started a hair early. But give it a look, see. We've only got it so I can have a go with it and see what it's all about. But it's a combine of father, sweet. It's uh, a combine that I've been looking forward to seeing. Good lord, it's sick. But yeah, the other trailer, 40 Modding's Facebook page. I believe it's still up there. Thank you, Matt, appreciate it. One thing I have noticed with the combine though, I don't know if it's just this trailer. The ray cast on it, so I think a little funky. Yeah, the turn of silk was horrendous, but it's probably realistic to be fair. It's just the detail is unreal. Like look at the freaking engine. And then even in here, I noticed that diagram right there for the belts. You can't see that. That's covered. Yet it's there. And it's really good resolution. It's unreal. So I'll do what I did in uh, Thursday's video quick. But you can make out all the details. The like thermostat housing, air intakes, injection pump, injectors for the f fuel, exhausts either side, A hydraulic pump with the drive shaft off the crank, probably fuel pump or not fuel pump, uh, oil filter or fuel filter right there. And you drop down into stuff that you usually wouldn't see. And then the interior. It's just, the detail is absolutely phenomenal. Even when you open and close this. That other lever there, that moves. Ah, that sucks, dude. It's got custom sounds as well.
This was out in 17 as well. AAA released this in 70. I never got a chance to mess around with it. I'm thinking it was right towards the end of 17 when I stopped playing it. Hey, Julian. Oh, it's off the list. Potentially. Where's the screen? <laughs> screen washer pump. God knows. Hidden away somewhere. What's up, Sim? What was that video you put in the uh, group chat all about? Yeah, I'm doing good. What about yourself? Simulation for the nation. What's up? I love scumbo and show me some of the gear mechanisms don't work. Really? Where? I mean, for the most part, everything I've seen on it works. Feeder housing. All of that stuff's working. How does it even got Phantom? Fans up, turning. Yeah, what? Where on earth are you on about? Good, just died. Nice. Dave didn't know he was drifting. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that when you didn't have it actually switched on, like, the threshing unit? Because you got the threshing unit switched off, and other than the engine stuff, they don't, but as soon as you switch on, they do. <laughs> I don't think you turned it on. Hey Chris, what's up? Oh, please tell me you didn't do a video on the wrong one or something. That'd be hilarious. I have zero idea, Drew. Zero idea. It could be this week, it could be next week, I don't know. It depends how in-depth Giants go for the testing. For no reason at all. You know it will be too, probably. Which is the sad part. Uh, that may have changed, Trent. That's all I'll say on that one. It may have changed. I'll talk about that in uh, Thursday's video. Let's just say there's a few people that I think uh, shot Giants a message last night and, and said their opinion on it. Reskin it to a Ford. No. Reskins are trash. Honestly. Straight reskins are trash. Uh, 
if that it was never that machine normally or a version of it I don't see the point of reskins how many mods do you think have not released oh probably tons good reasons usually between for them Why does it not like tipping into the... Oh, oh. <laughs> it's probably the ray cast on this thing. Good fire giants. It wasn't a fight, by any means. I mean, I was to be straight up honest, I shot Lizitana message as soon as I found out about it, just saying that the version up on the mod hub right now is a European spec. Custom Moddings is a US spec machine. I don't think it's fair isolating a whole entire community, aka America, North America, whatever you want to say. I was going into details of the message he sent back, but they had a meeting about it, put it this way. And the outcome was good. When we'll see it, I don't know. When Custom Modern will get told about it. If they wish to continue putting their stuff on the Mod Hub now, I wouldn't be too surprised if they're a little pissed. For good reason, too. But for not allowing something up on the mod hub because there's something else of it like that and then when it's completely different specification that's bs that is such bs it's unbelievable and i'm glad custom modern spoke out about it as modders should if it's complete bs like that there's some modders that just cry for the no sake of crying and giants are right about it, but that, nah, that was wrong. I hope it doesn't happen again to any of the modders out there. Has chat frozen or is people not talking? Yeah, I messaged Lithium and uh, my chat's frozen. Hang on, guys. Straw Chopper looks cool. Risk in the food. Yeah, no, I messaged Lithium. Sim. Um, yeah, no, uh, OBS. The restream chat's balked. Now uh, let me uh, open that again. Until it works, we may have to go the old school way doing stuff. Thanks. Hey, newsboy, what's up? There we go, it's working again. I may have found the issue. I have two versions of the combine. Oh, no way. Did he ever release this other beta? Yeah, I use yes mods. Uh, even then, Dave got hot and heavy when custom modem post up on Facebook. Really? I 
I don't see why. They're in every damn right to do it. And so they should. It's working again. Yeah, it's working again. Why did Dave go hot and heavy about it? Or was it just Dave being Dave? I don't mean Sim. Well, Sim said he messaged Lars. But both me and Sim thought it was out of order. Oh, we're on about custom modem. There's nothing wrong with this. Oh, never mind, you found it yourself. <laughs> oh, trust me, I knew about it. Dave told me about it, and I, uh, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. I just know it's going to cost it a friggin' arm and a leg. It was released in 17, so people probably converted it, I guess. Yeah, we met the same person, though. If I'm thinking of the same person. Hey, Matthew Farmer, what's up? Didn't know about Red Dead, oh man, I've just lost all my spare time. Oh, you didn't know? Did you actually not know? Yeah, it, it's legit coming to PC. Actually, you can pre-order it today, I think, through the Rockstar launcher. The 8th. Let's see for the 8th or the 9th. Massey, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated, dude. I got a feeling you put a sticker and for whatever reason it doesn't show through restream. No, you didn't. Alrighty. Nah, Red Dead. I can patiently wait for uh, 2k when the price comes down. I Yeah, I don't agree paying that kind of price for that game. I know you're big into it though, so... Hey, Jeremy, what's up? That oh, was Nathan here. What's up, Nathan? Uh, when you look video, there's no front loader to three point attach him out. Do you think when class comes to console, we will be later? Oh, like class mods. Yeah, um, once the DLC drops, if a model wishes to put class stuff up on the mod hub or put it through console testing, they can. I don't know what price Red Dead's going to be. I know it's going to be up there in price, unfortunately. To be expected, though, triple A damn game. No, I have not still downloaded it. <laughs> I'm terrible with stuff like that. Actually, yesterday I was pretty damn busy. We didn't get back until after all the running around and meetings we had to do. It was. What? And we went out for a meal. It was like quarter past eight. 
I have days lost on Red Dead on PlayStation. It's such a good game. I have so many happy memories when I was younger, when the first one came out on Xbox, losing countless hours. Countless hours. Yeah. I don't get where you're coming from with that one, Sim. I feel lost. Smacked down. I got a hockey game I missed yesterday, so I'm just going to put that on tonight. Considering how crap Raw was last night, I am looking forward to freaking SmackDown. But it's at the end of the week, which sucks, gr granted. Yeah, I wonder what the price of the header trailer was all about. Uh, for anyone wondering, like I said, I plan on doing a review on it, which I may record late tonight. Uh, but the header trailer on it is, uh, well, yeah, extremely cheap. Guess what happened? I'm not interested in that one, to tell you the truth, GT. I don't think it'll be that great. Plus, it's either going to be at that friggin' Saudi show, which should never exist, or uh, more than likely... Uh, mania. Later, Kelly. Uh, Mrs. Hates Red Dead. Why? Because you are literally zoned in on that? They had a meeting about this. Yeah. Little discussion, meeting, whatever you want to call it. Why did that come by and not stop one full? None of them do. It's on, um... GPS, and I have the menu paused. Yeah, you can lease the head of trailer for zero. Make two front loader attachments. I wonder if I doubt it because of what we have in the game already as attaches of front loader stuff. Never say never, but I doubt it. We're almost getting classes full range. I don't think we're quite getting everything. Like uh, tedders and windrows, which seem kind of disappointing. If you're on about the Saudi one, GT, especially what happened with... From what I was told about Goldberg and Undertaker, I doubt it. The heat there? Yeah. I don't see either of those two going back anytime soon. I'm doing good skill work by yourself. Wee. That is a fence. Hey, the Boston Husky. How you been keeping? I haven't seen you around for a while. Uh, you can with course play. I was hoping for a class rig. So am I. I've still got a feeling we'll still get some. 
probably have Crown Jewel on in the background. So on um, Thursday soon, of course, to watch. The last time I ever saw that, that was just, it was a joke. That being fair, it was like smack, uh, not smack down, raw last night. The crowd there, not into it, on their phones, walking around. Look miserable. Hope they have. Yeah, it'd be nice. Again, I'll say what I usually say, I, I doubt it. I'd like to see Quickie in the game, to be honest. They are, it seems like, one of the number one aftermarket front loaders people go for. So 4 p.m. UK time. Oh, dang, that's early. Yeah, I won't be streaming. 4 p.m. UK time, that's... I just start streaming at 7. Reality, it could be over at that point. I'll be recording more than likely, if it's on this Thursday. Uh, do you think... The Class Platinum DLC was planned early on, so they didn't clash with JD. I, I don't know. There's a part of me that thinks it wasn't. I remember talking to Lars very early on in the release of... 19, and we were talking about them get, picking up John Deere, and he said, once we got John Deere, we stopped pursuing Class. Maybe that was him kind of throwing curveballs. But this was very early on in 19, so I truly don't know. With that little I know, did class go to them and say, hey, we want in? And they throw a DLC Platinum very quick? I doubt it. I doubt they could throw it together that quick. Well, they initially planned and had the license before 19 got released. That, uh, I'm leaning towards they didn't. Thought the motor coat would be in the pack still. Thought all we got from John Deere was the cotton harvester. Yeah, if you're on about DLC, yeah. All they got was the cotton. I'm gonna say they had class uh, on show at FarmCon last year. Wonder if it was a hint. They also had an MB truck, though, so I doubt it. Well, the class was horses, right? They used that for testing their bigger equipment. Or was that a brand, literally a brand new one that that horse didn't own? See, I can see that horse owning that. Oh, really? Wow. Who knows? Like, that you'll never find out the truth. Short of literally talking to probably marketing or whoever at class that knows, you'll not get the answer. You most certainly will never get the true answer from Giants. You could ask 10 people the same question at Giants and 10 people will give you a different answer. And Sim knows that all too well. Quickie's big, we've got four trackers with Quickie loaders. Yeah, they seem fairly large. All showing everything there. There you go. It would be nice to see Mercedes in the game. Unimog, MB track. God, if we got a Unimog in the game, I'd be happy. Alrighty. Yeah.
Let's be honest, they've probably been working on that combine for a long time too. It's not, again, it's not something that takes a year to go, hey, we're going to build a new combine in less than a year. Here it is. It's It takes several years to develop an R&D, something like that. I didn't get copyright claimed from the last one, Sim. And again, this is through their playlist, so... We'll see. If it causes issues, then... I'll dispute. It's very pretzel, so they can't exactly argue that one. Not with pretzel's terms. So in real life, if you're looking to buy a tractor, want to see an action, just play uh, first. Haha. <laughs> yeah, no. I think it was something like nine years, and maybe wrong. I'm not too surprised, Nathan. I wouldn't be too surprised at all. Oh, no turnover that makes. I doubt they come crawl into giants. Any, any of the ad companies that are in the game. How? Look at Adco, for example, with all the companies they have under their umbrella. They all make a crap ton of money. It's all advertising. It really, truly boils down to advertising. And let's be honest, the other game that class is in, yeah. I've been hit with a few copyright claims from about two years ago. A little bit weird. Some of the pretzel stuff, if you were using radio stations, like, or not playlists, playlists that you've created, yeah, I've been flagged. I've had that issue, that's why I stopped using playlists on pretzel and just rocking with what they dish out. But if I have issues, I end up tweeting them and putting in a claim and it usually gets sorted relatively quick. Especially if you tweet them. I've got pissed with them in the past and stuff's got resolved relatively quick. So I'll take one for the team and find out on that one. That was an NCS song too. Which I know, no copyright sound is, well, a joke right now from what I've been hearing. Fingers crossed, do you think there is a chance we'll be seeing something from Platinum next week from yourself or others? I don't know. I will be completely honest and I have zero idea. I always say this, I don't want to be sound entitled like, oh, I'm going to get it. I don't know if and when we'll get it. The, I don't know if we've got another fact sheet Friday coming up. I do not know. I do not know anything. Uh, they had... That was through Upbeat Radio Sim, so that's not been removed. Bad news for seasons on consoles? Uh, what about it? Actually, seasons will have to have an update as far as Giants will patch the game on consoles for seasons to come out. We usually get a patch when Giants release DLCs. Th seasons and Platinum coming out will probably coincide. I'll put money on that one. Hey, anyone want to find me what's up? I don't think so. So we'll probably get that this week then. Uh, the speed of this combine is 15 mile an hour. Tops road speed. It's hellishly slow. Ah, 
don't know, not much for me. After the stream, I'll be going outside to go sand the doors for the kitchen. Decorate in that. Hey, Jake. to test out. I am looking forward to see the quality increase. If anything, quality. I'm looking forward to seeing the quality. I've got a feeling that these mo models are going to look amazing. Uh, no, Drew. I never reply, never got any messages back about it. I'm not going to chase him on that one for obvious reasons. You guys were asking the question that stream. I asked the question to Giants as I can shoot them a message relatively quickly. But I'm not going to press them on that matter. Mainly because I don't want to see it removed for you guys, but people ask, so ask the question. I know it's still up there. It is. It is. I do know, though, and I, th I think it's been quite widely said and documented that Class did want the Giants to up their game as far as the models go, hence 3D tracks and stuff like that. Uh, we've only had 14 fact sheets. Only 14, Nathan, but within those fact sheets, there has been fact sheets within fact sheets. Like, front loaders front loader attachments, stuff like that, have been within those fact sheets. Last week's one had the front loader for that tractor that we saw in the video, for example. I'd be very surprised if they don't have a tether and a rake in the pack. Those are such popular things that I used to see quite often in the UK. Oh, that's small. Haven't checked it out. I probably won't, unless it's got a crap ton of configs. And it's worthy of a mod review. We'll see. Oh, that looks cool. Whereabouts are you from? Like, state-wise, if you're in the States or Canada. There's a few, quite a few farms I've had issues with their beans and corn this year. Been so wet. Still hoping for a trail bar. 
I'd love to see the cougar. I'd love to see the cougar be modded and put into the game again. If you guys don't know what the class cougar is, go give it a Google. I think that thing was around before the crone big M was. The thing was an absolute animal. Oh, they will be. I almost guarantee. Don't forget, and people forget this. You remember the leak they got put out there over summer? Begin way beginning of the summer, which was the slurry tank, the uh, gooseneck slurry tank. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, Nebraska. Oh yeah, you guys got flooded out there big time, didn't you? Nebraska, jeez. Moni Ogwago and about to finish our last. Oh, oh, beans. Nice. I hope that Millennial Farmers map's good as well. I hope mappers have learnt sort of the newer techniques, it seems. Well, I'm with you though. Eleanor is nice. That's awesome. So Trent, you're in a tractor and setup right now. What what setup are you running? And you guys will be surprised. The amount of people that we actually have that come in here that are on tractors in a field watching the streams working. It's kinda of funny. You're farming real life while watching someone that's never farmed a day in their life in Farming Simulator. I don't get the appeal, but more the power to you. Oh yeah, I, I bet Giants are holding stuff. Guaranteed. You empty now? Yes. Turn into a cougar. The, uh, the Zarion was was nothing like the Guga. I got a feeling, like like I said, that slurry tank, for example. Oh my god, lower. There we go. Hey, yes, sir. Look out. Let's side by side. Wow. To Magnum. Around doors on the track. Dang, that's going to be a big settlement. Nice. Off topic, but is there a method to. Doing rub bales. No, there isn't. Wrap the bales. Stack them somewhere, they'll ferment over time. Oh, there's only one person left. In map is Paradise Ben left. There was someone else, I thought. It, Blobby is head honcho, and there was someone else. Uh, the class terror track is on demo in the Scotch border right now. Looks awful. I, I don't think it looks bad. Is that thing actually not out to the public yet? Because I was surprised it's not in the in the class pack. But if it's not actually released, bear in mind that got a advertised and shown off at Agrotechnic what a year to two years ago. What's my favorite tractor? John Deere 75, 30, and 7810. Those two for sure. Of your more modern variety than the older stuff. Probably a Ford 8Ns. I love the old Fords and the Fergie Greys. Gotta love those. Yeah, we'll be disappointed if we don't. 
Uh, with the cam turned around and the front mowers on it, me. Just no PTO. Yeah, the Cougar was strange, though. The Cougar was a big machine from the looks of videos I've seen and pictures of it. That's not that big an area. Oh, really? <laughs> but you need wet grass and normal grass. I believe you can do it both wet or normally cut grass. And you can wrap it instantly. You don't need to wait any time to wrap it. From my experience. I don't think I've ever put wet grass in it, but it makes sense if you're putting wet grass in it. It's fermenting after all. No, I think he's on about the tractor terror track. The uh, Axaron terror track. The Jag terror track, I know that's in the... Uh, DLC. I'm not a uh, class expert, but is class a mixture? No, I think it's just Eurospec stuff. Presumably. And let's be honest, the American class spec stuff, it used to be different colour as far as the Lexians go, but they're not anymore. I think their deal with cats ended completely. Yeah, Steve never said anything else about Seasons City on con console. Yeah, it needs to be sent to them, Matt, because it ends up as a patch in the game. So that Microsoft and Sony are not clearing the mod. They are clearing a Giants new version of the game via a patch. That's how Giants get around putting it into the game. That's how they did it last time, presumably they're doing exactly the same thing this time. So if that's the case, we may see an update to Seasons on console beforehand. For what I've seen on videos, it looks like you have to stop wrap with the combo bailer. I don't know, I, I would imagine you can still carry on going. Uh, the corner of my area is still 19% moisture. Wow. I don't think it does. I think that's probably going to be a Cummins engine in that, buddy. I did that not empty it again. Actually, pretty good point. The DLC isn't very North American friendly, LOL. Well, let's be honest. As far as the North, North American spec goes, I don't know if they have the smaller versions of the tractors out there. I know they have the Zerion, I know they have the Jaguars, but again, the Jaguars, the Lexians are now all the same colour. They're not a special colour like they used to be for, to, for cat colours. And as far as the Zerion goes, you can put duels on it, which would make it look American. It doesn't have the slow moving triangles. And I probably doubt you can put row crop tires on it, proper row crop tires on it. Hey, big man. Hey, Connor. I think John Deere said once they come into the Farm Sim League that they were going to put more equipment into the game. When that's going to happen, I don't know, but they have said that. Uh, thanks. Luckily, corn's been in my area, doing very well. 300 acres of corn, that's 16% moisture. Almost ready. Go ahead. I guess people that have got grain dryers on site, they can take them off a lot sooner. 
But you look at Millennial Farmer's latest video, he was taking a walk through, well, showing off some of his fields, and it was just completely underwater still. It's going to be a while before he can get in there. And even then, he's probably going to have a hell of a loss, unfortunately. Stranger Class, not put in. A non stop round bailer. Crane. Yeah. I've seen a year or two old class. Have a guess. Really? I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they were Cummins. I could probably find out if you look on uh, tractor data, if anyone wants to do that for me quick. Have a look what engine the new... the new uh, Zerions have. Out of curiosity. So pity, more, uh, more game doesn't mean that they tell us what they want. Kind of lost me there, Drew. Kind of lost me. Yeah, that little class wheel loader I think will be very useful. Yeah, they do. They do. I'm surprised that's not a thing in the UK, actually. I'm very surprised that's not a thing. I'll pull it up to show you. So you just open up that and tab through until you see this one. Enable DOF and then Jeez, spell them. What? False. And then go. You have to do that every time you go in the map though. Sorry, well, does JT, uh, JD tell Giants what they want? I think it's a little bit of both. Unfortunately, it's all European stuff, as I guess that's the office they're dealing with. Like, for example, the John Deere 6M, the tractor that they actually went out 3D scanned, was a John Deere 7530. Engine, detail, Caterpillar, C13, look what cool. Oh, wow, okay then. What, for what Zerion is that? I stand corrected. Right, I'll keep this around for one purpose and one purpose only. I do plan on doing a mod review video on it, and I have something planned. Ah, Steve, you're back. What were you saying about uh, seasons and consoles? That's 500 from 2016 though. Oh, okay. Do they not have the latest stuff? You literally open uh, the command console up using the tilde key. Hit the tilde key again, you'll have the hashtag mark. And then hit tab. Literally, you tab through every command the game has until you find the one that you want. And then hit, and type false in, hit enter, and then you're good to go. The death of field thing is a thing that Giants really should have put in their graphics settings on PC to switch that off. You do see an FPS increase when you switch that off. The game's not having to put an effect on. 
So it should be something that you, you're able to switch off without having to put in a command. And, or at least go into the Axe Mouse to be able to switch it off permanently. That would be a very nice if we could do that. Music is very loud. Uh, are you resting? You guys think the music's loud? You're the first person to say something, Alex. I'll be stopping really soon anyway. Be the first person to say something. If it is loud, let me know and I'll turn it down. That's no biggie. Uh, Cons players see seasons in testing. It's got to go through Sony and Microsoft. That takes ages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's only got to go through Sony and Microsoft. Not because it's a mod. Because Giants put it into the game with a patch. So they're getting ready to patch the game. They've probably, that means they've already sent the patch over for Platinum. Because they, they usually patch the game around that time. Yeah, I just turned it down, Alex. Yeah, we've got a good amount of people in the chat. Uh, probably thanks to Simulate yesterday. Honestly. Rejuvenate in the channel. Thank you. This is why I need him to come back. <laughs> Alright, so we're rowing this up. I meant to put the Chrome 6 wheel rake in. This is least. So we can bundle these up into bigger rows. Now, if any of you missed the videos at the beginning of the week, which probably you have looking at the views on the videos, if you haven't checked out the videos, please go check them out. The views on those are actually really kind of disappointing of late. Anyway, uh, we are going to do part normal bales for us to keep and Heston bales more than likely in this field to sell. That was probably Silver's video, Steve. Uh, Landy, Sony did an update today for what, the game? Or just the console? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I figured. Silver's okay to promote. He's a good guy. He is your one-stop place for news, to be honest. He's done a hell of a good job of his channel, considering what he was like a few years ago, which you guys don't know. What he was like a few years ago, he's come a long way, so I'm proud of him for that. You can now have 16 people in it. Jeez. That would become an absolute fest of everybody talking over each other. It used to be bad when we had eight people in parties back in the days of Forza drifting on friggin Xbox alrighty I've been streaming an hour I've got to go get nice and dusty sanding or sanding kitchen doors hopefully it's not raining it shouldn't be so more than likely I don't know what map we'll be on tomorrow maybe Oakfield kind of enjoyed being on here but we'll see may have to rinse through Oakfield and fast time quite a bit. Mm, and he's stuck with it. Exactly. Exactly. So I will bid you guys farewell. I hope you have enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow. As per usual, got a Oakfield video recorded for tomorrow already. And that's uploaded and ready to go. So until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.